chants of solidarity songs continue for the second day at the headquarters of the Transmission Company of Nigeria in Abuja as members of the National Union of Electricity Workers protest across the country. The protest, which started on Tuesday, is a fallout of an earlier 40-day ultimatum issued by the Workers' Union in May this year for the federal government to address their demands, which includes the payment of outstanding arrears of some former workers of the defunct power holding company of Nigeria, PHCN. After occupying the headquarters of TCN in Abuja for two days, the Electricity Workers Union took their next line of action as they shut the transmission stations in the nation's capital. Yesterday, we expect that they would have called for a negotiation. They never did. And we have no option. The only weapon we have is our tools. We've done tools. We've withdrawn our services. We give government opportunity to re react. But as you, as you have been told, since yesterday, and they faced today, they have not reacted. So we cannot just fold our hands and watch people, few individuals in the country, to mess our future up. We will not do that. If they react today, we we'll sit down and discuss and resolve all the issues, then we might decide to call off. But if, if they don't, we'll continue the strike. The situation is the same at the regional headquarters of the Transmission Company of Nigeria in Kaduna State. The protesting workers shut down this power station, which supplies electricity to four northwest states, including Kaduna, Kebi, Sokoto, and Zamfara states. It's a total compliance at the Jebba power station in Kwara State as the protesting electricity workers withdraw their services, locking up the power stations as they fault the federal government's privatization of the sector. Can we say the privatized industry have worked? Have they added any megawatt to the, to the industry? The government should have licensed people to build their own power station and have their own transmission line where there will be competition. But instead, they sold what we have to their own cronies. At the zonal headquarters of the transmission company of Nigeria in Yola, the Adamawa state capital, no protesters were in sight, and neither the workers here nor government officials are willing to comment on the matter. It's the latest in the series of challenges that have crippled electricity generation and distribution in Nigeria after the national grid suffered collapses seven times this year alone, throwing the nation into darkness on those occasions.